video, I'm going to show you how to remove and install new belts on a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine by Mazda, which can be found on Mazda 3s, 6s, and CX-5s. In this diagram, you can see that there are two belts. One belt is for the water pump. That belt does not have any manual adjustment for tension, so it is a belt that you have to pull off and slide on by turning the crankshaft. The second belt is the belt that goes around the alternator and the air conditioning compressor. This is a serpentine belt. The tension in this is held in place with a belt tensioner. The belt that is around the pulley for the water pump is the one that is closest to the engine and the serpentine is the furthest away from the engine on the crankshaft. Please click on the link in the upper corner to learn how to jack up the car and position jack stands underneath the vehicle to support it safely. Now that we've got the uh, front end all jacked up, we have taken off the front tire and we have thrown the front tire into the back side for additional safety. The next thing that needs to be done after we've removed the tire is to be able to gain access to this area. So we have the body frame that goes in this area here. The um, water pump is behind here. The crank pulley should be down here. So in order to remove this, uh, basically use a screwdriver to pull this plug, that plug, that plug, and then there's a plug that's behind here, which we will access after uh, we've removed these plugs up here. So now that we've removed the three other plugs, we're gonna go ahead and pull this forward and expose that plug. I have already uh, gone in and loosened this with a screwdriver, so this should come out. Once that is out, this piece just will fall. We'll pull out just like that. Now that we have the side cover off, we have access to the belts, and we will also access the tensioner from this side as well. So basically, um, with this removed, we have exposed the, the crank pulley. This is the belt for the water pump. And then we will access the belt tensioner through here so that we can get the serpentine belt off. So I'm on the crawler laying down and looking upwards. And so we are going to access the nut that is on the belt tensioner right there. It is the hexagon nut that's right there, right at my nails. So we're going to go ahead and use the open end side of the wrench and we're going to slide it in like such and then we will pull downwards to be able to release the belt and you can see some slack. And so what we're going to do is, is I'm going to uh, and if you look over here, you can see that there's not a whole lot of room um, right here. And when we pull it downward, it ends up hitting the, uh, the top of the pulley. So we're going to try to make this work. Um, the best tool for this is an offset wrench. And I did not have one of those, so I'm just going to make do with what I have. Uh, this is the 17 millimeter uh, wrench. There is no room for uh, adding a socket and a uh, ratchet. We're now going to go ahead and pull on the wrench and then we're going to work the belt off. And with that belt off, we're going to go ahead and let go of the belt tensioner and the belt is with that we have the belt off so now that we've got the uh, belt removed I'm gonna go ahead and remove the wrench uh, because the extensioner, uh, the belt tensioner ends up traveling further down without the belt. 
uh, the top of the wrench got stuck. So we're going to pull down on the wrench. With my other hand, I'm going to support the bottom of the wheel and remove the wrench. So here it goes. So I just pull this down, support the wheel, and then the wrench comes off. So now what we're going to do is, is we're going to uh, pull on the belt. And what you do is, is you want to make sure that this belt comes off the pulley uh, near the top. And so you have to pull really hard. So while you're pulling with your right hand, just feel with the left hand uh, if you've pulled hard enough for it to start coming off the pulley. And if that's the case, then start spinning the crankshaft counterclockwise so that the cloth will then roll onto the pulley and the belt will come off. So go ahead and remove, go ahead and remove the pulley. So that has removed the belt and that is it. So here we have the upper belt being the, uh, the belt that I removed and the bottom belt being the new uh, belt that I have. And if we look a little closer at this, uh, we can see that uh, this one has a little bit more rougher surface. This is way too smooth. Uh, this belt still looks good. Uh, however, it does seem uh, a little harder uh, or less flexible as the new, new belt. So we're just gonna go ahead and replace it with the new belt here. The part number for the belt, uh, for, for the water pump belt is gonna be the PY01-15908. So here is the uh, serpentine belt. So we've got quite a bit of cracking and then uh, the upper belt, obviously there's no cracks, this is new. Um, having cracks on a serpentine belt is normal. Uh, there is no issues as long as there's not a lot of cracking. From what I've uh, read online, uh, three cracks per inch is pretty normal. Uh, if you look at each one of these uh, lines, I don't think I have uh, more than three cracks per uh, line. However, at 115,000 miles and having to go through all this trouble, I might as well replace uh, the belt as well. Um, it's a little bit extra money, about $40, $50 in belts, uh, $40. Um, and then, you know, this way you're rest assured that your belt will not break. So I should be good for another 100 and plus miles, uh, hopefully with the new belt. Uh, one thing do, to note is, is the current belts uh, are a lot more stiffer and the new belts are a, lo a little bit more malleable. So uh, that's something to consider. The part number for for this is gonna be it's gonna be your PY01 15909A. It is now time for us to install the water pump belt. And so what you want to make sure is is the belt is installed in the correct location on the crank pulley on the bottom and on the top. And so on the top you'll have to just make sure you feel it it's in the right location. Because you do not want this belt to slip forward uh, and then uh, be installed on the pulley up above because you'll have to remove the belt to reinstall it correctly. The next thing you want to make sure is is the belt does go all the way around the bottom lip. The smaller circumference or the smaller diameter uh, portion of the uh, of the belt. Then after that what we're going to do is is we're going to force the belt onto the lip onto the lip and then turn the crank pulley and the way we're going to do that is is we're going to install a ratchet onto the crank pulley and slowly turn it clockwise so by doing this what we're going to be doing is is we're going to be forcing the forcing the belt to be installed onto the water pump pulley so you want to make sure that you do not get your finger caught in here because it is going to be painful. So we want to make sure that we force the belt onto the water pump all along while we turn the crankshaft pulley with a socket. So 
So I think the pulley has pulled on the belt from the lower end and uh, the upper part still needs to, but I'm just making sure that the belt is still in its correct place on the crank so I can feel that. All right, so the belt just seated itself from the bottom side and it just did seat itself from the top. And on the crank pulley, we are in the correct position. So this is the basic diagram. You've got the crank, you've got the AC pulley, you've got the alternator pulley. It's supposed to be a very small one. I drew it a little too large. And then you've got the uh, belt tensioner. So there is a, there is a uh, hexagon shaped nut right here that we're going to attach our wrench to and then push it to the right side when we're uh, to the front of the engine so that this belt tensioner can be lifted upwards so that it allows us to be able to sneak in the pi the belt over the crank pulley so the first thing we want to do is is get the belt in here from the bottom of the crank pulley around the AC over the alternator back down underneath the uh, black pulley of the belt tensioner and then it'll just go across the face of the uh, crank pulley and then what we do is is we get that wrench on that hexagon nut and then after, when we're applying the pressure we want to slide the belt into place so this is just kind of a high level overview of what we're just gonna do right now okay um, as you can see I've got the I've got the belt tensioner engaged but with that wrench the belt is going over the pulley at the topmost, which is the uh, alternator with the small. It's wrapping underneath the black pulley right here. I'm going to pull it over to the center. Then it is going underneath the uh, AC compressor. And if you look at it from the side view, it's going across the face of the crank pulley. And what we're going to do is, is I've got another wrench uh, you know, connected to the uh, 17 millimeter wrench that's on the pulley and it's going to be my lever arm. We're going to pull it towards the front of the vehicle, so in other words down, and we're going to slide on the, uh, the belt onto the crank pulley. So that's the general procedure of how we're going to be installing the serpentine belt. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and apply downward pressure. So I'm just going to go up, reach up, and pull the belt in place on the black pulley because it was towards the engine. So let me just show that to you. So the belt is aligned on the black pulley so that when I let go of everything, it should be in place. And as you can see, up at the alternator, everything looks good. Everything looks good on the AC and then on the crank pulley it's already on and that's all it there is to getting this thing installed and so we're just going to let go of the wrenches get this one removed get that one removed and everything is installed thank you for watching the video i hope that this has been helpful to show how this can be done Please ask your questions down below. I'll do my best to answer them in a timely fashion. And please help me out by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Thank you.